Now we're going to be testing some techniques for stopping sneezes from spreading their wares, their germs, their bacteria, and that's what this rig is set up to test. Jamie and I will wear white suits, like I'm wearing now, and stand here at the apex, and we will sneeze. And of course, our mouths will be filled with colored liquid like before. We're going to try and prevent the spread of that sneeze with three different methods. One, open hand. Ha -ching! Two, into the elbow. Ha -ching! And three, something no gentleman should be without, a handkerchief. Ha -ching! We're going to be looking at our suits and on the floor to see which one works the best. Sneezing into the open hand. I'm predicting this is going to be kind of a horror show. A swig and a sniff later. <laughs> That's one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one coming. For each style, <laughs> they're going to unleash a sample of three sneezes. <laughs> oh, it looks horrible, doesn't it? I look like a vampire. Ah! Adam's face is a picture, but it's the canvas that tells the real story. I see spots up to eight feet away, dude. Yeah, it did spread quite a lot, but there's a lot of markings here. So I'd say single hand, not so good. Yeah, not so good. Not so good. And then some. Even with his hand directly in front of the oncoming sneeze, Adam can't begin to contain the explosion. Now, I'm pretty clear that sneezing into your hand is meant as a courtesy to those around you to keep from spreading your germs onto them. And as far as I can see, it's quite effective at doing exactly the opposite. I noticed there's almost no red dye on me at all and crap loads all around me. If I was on a subway, I'm typhoid Mary. With the hand getting the thumbs down, can the elbow do any better? To find out, it's over to Jamie, and he'll be sneezing in green. Now, we wait for the sneeze to take effect on Jamie's Hoosier nose. Slowly, it irritates the cilia inside. And with the cilia salivating... And the results are very impressive. Yeah, I see only two droplets and one on your shoe. And let's look at your elbow here. That's totally localized to you, man. And you know what? It's all on my arm and not on my hand, so I'm not as likely to spread it around. Yeah, it's doubly effective. Hands down, the elbow is a highly effective technique, with virtually the entire sneeze contained on each of Janie's sneezes. But can the humble hanky do better still? Well, it's back to Adam, and for this final test, he's sneezing in blue. How did we do? I see a tiny, 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 tiny dot of blue there. At first, it seems like the hanky may be victorious. Until... I see some on the hanky. And look, it's penetrated all the way to both sides. It's penetrated both sides, and perhaps most damningly, whoop, it's on my hands, ready to spread to the next person whose hand I shake. The sneeze seeped through the hanky, contaminating Adam's hand, making it a pretty poor technique. And it gets worse. Let me make one more thing clear about this hanky I'm holding here. Imagine, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you, you sneeze in it all day long, and you keep on putting it in your pocket, pulling it back out, giving people change from your pocket, handing them your pen, handing them your phone, talking on your phone, spreading germs. Yeah, it's not just a Rorschach test, it's a Petri dish. Although the droplets were contained, the hand exposure means the hanky has hit the skids. So, this flu season, which method are you going to use? The hand? The elbow? Or the hand? It's got to be the elbow. I totally agree. It's the elbow. So now you know. Coming up. You look like a pretty strange.